Okay, I'm back for some more of Mario's Peregrination. I can't even be bothered to recite the full title. I'm sorry, Vampiron Bra. So, if I want that red switch... Uh... Okay, I think it's by getting the secret exit in Ash and Stone Cavern that I get that red switch. And I know I need a Yoshi for that. I've only seen one in the game so far. And the message in the first stage told me that there are red... Okay, maybe in Ash and Stone Cavern it said there are wild red Yoshis you can find in this world. I find one, I should just bring it to Ash and Stone Cavern and get the secret if I want the red switch. Well, let's go to Black Death Chasm, see what we find. This bleak, yeah, I'm gonna have to get you. This bleak, blazing chasm is inhabited by deadly fire brothers that shoot exiguous orbis ignis. I mean, small fire orbs, watch out. Oh, wow. I guess Vampirumbra does understand that not everyone understands the words that are coming out of his mouth, so. Orbis ignis, yes, fire orbs. Why not just say that they're shooting small fire orbs? Unless you that badly want to tell a story with your hack. I mean, it's better than just princes getting kidnapped in brutal massacre, so... I mean, it's something. Okay, I might want the red switch. That's looking like a... Pr okay, maybe I just... Okay, maybe it's not that tricky, that jump. Okay, let me see. Alright, that works. You can always duck jump and clear it. Oh, now what? Alright, just take a pipe. So let's get the nip point in. Try and go down here. That almost ended in death. And I could not see what was down there. Okay, so what is down here now that I've gone this way? Okay. Okay, I'm really tempted to go look for the red switch now. Hopefully we can get back up. Wait. Okay, good. You really kinda gotta do a little duck jump. You can still get back up. And now it looks like these fire bros might start be getting placed in trickier spots. Yeah, like, you can't even jump over the fireballs. Kinda gotta get closer to them, so yeah, that's pretty tricky right there. Particularly once the gaps start becoming two blocks high, it gets tricky. video someone asked me when I could do a Q&A and I really liked the idea as soon as I heard it before this happens I would actually want to make a video explaining some of the guidelines I'd like you to follow when I do the Q&A I mean I'd like you to at least put some common sense into your questions don't ask me something totally stupid some of the questions this guy's already asked me include what's my favorite hack and is Hammer Brother Demo 3 still the crappiest hack of all time Favorite Super Mario hack? Okay, that might actually be a really tough one. Plus, I'd also like to explain why it's my favorite and the other ones that might have been potential candidates aren't. I mean, I could talk a lot about that one question, even though it's pretty small. So, Multarium Fortress 2. Okay. if I think that Hammer Brother Demo 3 is still the crappiest hack of all time. It may be, it may not be, who knows. You'd have to do a lot of searching to find something worse than that. If that's even possible. I mean, I don't even remember every single thing that Hammer Brother Demo 3 did wrong. I just know that it's quite possibly the worst hack I've ever let's played. I 
me, I can still recite the fact that it abused invisible plant locks and rats for scrolling all right off the top of my head. Okay, this is getting tricky. I'm just running into these rotor discs now. Okay, it's just another rest door. I can imagine I'll get several other various questions that I'd be looking forward to answering, or just more like seeing what kind of questions you guys can come up with. Conflagrant Chateau. Conflagrant Burning. Yeah, it makes sense. So I do want to see what kind of questions you'll come up with. And good thing I turned around as soon as I saw those fireballs. I almost ran right into one of those. And I still recall on Super Mario Central, several people made an Ask Me Anything thread, including this one person. I think. I don't know if it was a he or she. I'm gonna guess it was a he, but yeah, Rydia. And one of the questions I remembered them getting was A hey girl, you want some fuck? Because they had a pink username color, so the person asked the question just decided to assume they were female. And I don't think they were. Maybe they just like the color pink. Maybe they liked it better than blue and purple. I'd rather not spin jump off a pile again. No thanks, I don't want to do another Yolkul Gambler. I don't want to try and redo Yolkul Gambler right now. If I can avoid it. I mean, there will always be the depraved stronghold. I might want to hit that. Yeah, I might want to be real. Okay, that could have been bad. So you really have to be careful with some of these on-off switches. There's enemies surrounding them, so you really just gotta plan everything out quickly and carefully. Was there a message that I just completely forget to hit the box? I thought for sure this guy would've wanted to say something. Well, too bad, because I just threw him in the lava. So yeah, that was Larry, or whatever Van Brummer wanted to call him in this hack. The dreaded lordship- Oh, Duskery. Duskery. Larry Duskery. I- okay, I- Yeah, it makes sense. And his chateau of fortified perdition prolapsed eternally. Now Mario emanates to Fridge Ridge Island. Oh, so an ice world. I see. Fridge Ridge. I'm gonna guess it's an ice world. Yep. Fridge Ridge Island 1. Wow, we're on World 5 already? This is going by pretty quickly. Oh, another messy box. Okay, Mario's fireballs look more like ice balls now. I guess something happened in between the last world and this one. Maybe he's got like a whole other sort of aura surrounding him that just makes his fireballs turn into ice balls. Fridge Ridge Island. An ethereal, brumal realm of deadly slippery retics ruled by Enchantria. Blue Yoshi findable. <laughs> Cause he's really that badly hit, had to fit that last line of text in. I feel like he just wasted a bunch of the space he had in that message box and just had to cram in that last line. Blue Yoshi findable. No period, nothing, just, just randomly throw that in. Just below the rest of the message. We can make a fit, but just barely. Or maybe he could've just used another message box. I mean, he already did that in World 2. When you use such big words, you need two message boxes for one message. This is the hack. It's like this. Oh, Dragon Boy. So yeah, I definitely want the Q&A thing to happen, it's just, I'm not in the mood 
record right now, because I, so I figured I really want to catch up with the Super Mario and Hack Let's Plays. I mean, I was doing a lot of speedrunning of Castlevania 3 Grand Route before then. So I figured let's just catch up with this. So yeah, I was doing a lot of speedrunning of Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse, particularly with Grant. Needless to say, I'm still very happy with my personal best. And yeah, I was attempting to get the sub-31 on and off for the past few weeks. And then, like, last Sunday, I finally got it. Like, I know for a fact that I earned it. Okay, now let's try and land on the enemies. You usually want to land on an enemy, that's kind of the point of this. That's a rock chuck. Dig it, chuck. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna want to get the red switch for that dragon coin. Okay, this is looking tricky. Oh, this works. Yeah, we'll take the mushroom. Right, you'll slide into these guys. Alright, let's take it. Sure thing. Wait a minute. Okay, those look like they're spikes, but they're not. In fact, you can't even touch them at all. I mean, I wasn't even sure what to think at first. Can we just get rid of this guy? I go and jump in the water just to see if there's a mushroom in that block, and then I land right on the top of a fish. It's sort of like a blind jump when you think about it. Even though I didn't jump, I just fell. But it's still something that should usually be avoided. Okay, that death was my fault. Now then, where was the fish? Oh, it's just a shell. Oh, wait a minute, I needed that. Well, if I want to go up there, that is. It's not even a secret exit, so I'm probably just gonna leave it. Frigid Fortress. They remind me of Wendy's castle somehow. Also, we're gonna get the layer two section of likely, considering I see the background. Oh! I can't jump off the fence because there's spikes. I can't just like drop off because uh, I'm kind of stuck on the fence. So let's actually be more careful this time. We're gonna go down here. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna work. Mm, no mushroom. Wait! Okay, how am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do this jump? Just in case, I'll make sure I have my mushroom by the time I get there, because I don't know how I'm gonna jump at that angle. Let's hope the, let's hope the jump's not impossible. Pretty sure you at least test everything, right? Right? Let's make an attempt at the jump. 
I can't get any closer to the ledge than this without jumping off the fence. Or the net in this case, but... Okay, there we go. It's not that tough. Just crouch when you're jumping off the fence if you're big, so that you pretty much have like the duck height when you jump off. And then jump from that spot and you'll get to the ledge easy. Yeah, I pretty much always use that glitch to my advantage. When I'm big, I just jump on a net or a vine while I'm ducking, and then once I jump off, I'm still ducking. And also, while I'm climbing on the net slash vine, my hitbox is decreased, the small Mario's. So it's as I'm ducking, but I'm really not. Probably one of the most useful glitches in this game. stuff. They don't call this a journey for nothing. Oh, it's done the level. Okay, that got pretty tough just because of a few jumps that you need to be really precise with. I wonder if Van Brumbra himself tested uh, I hope he did. Hibernus Kavaman, okay. switch, then you're never enter able to go into that pipe again. You'd have to start a new game. I was thinking maybe he threw the yellow switch there, so that would be like the sort of place you can only access once. I mean, once you get it, you can never go back in that pipe again unless you just wipe your save file and start over. But you can't even go in the pipe, so it doesn't matter. It's just like if you have the yellow switch, that part of the level's a bit easier. Because there's like no holes there. I mean, that's what Switch Palace blocks were commonly used for. I mean, it makes the most sense. You go and look for Switch Palace to make the levels easier for yourself. Not to block off access to certain areas. Okay, there's our secret. There's our keyhole. I mean, I can get a running... Okay, maybe if my running jump is perfect, I can reach it. that. I'll go and do the crystalline chateau and then stop the video. I just have not seen them move diagonally in a long time. 
I, I did not ever recall there were custom sprites for Super Mario World that would let you do that. Oh, let's go hit there again. I mean, pretty much whenever you fight Lemmy or Wendy in a ROM hack, chances are it's going to be a tougher fight than in the original Super Mario World. I mean, they have the option to edit in Lunar Magic, so, yeah. I mean, most hacks in general are tougher in the original Super Mario World. The potentate Enchantria of Fridge Ridge Island defeated and descends into perennial deep freeze. Now, the, the penultimate realm of darkness Mysterium, Noctumbra, awaits Mario. Right, part five will go there. Actually, we're going the overworld map right now, but oh wow, this is like right near the end of the game, is it? Yep. <laughs> 